Alright guys, I'm in here for my 2010 Fatal 4-Way predictions. Of course, Fatal 4-Way comes to you uh, this Sunday, of course, uh, this Father's Day. And, uh, you know, I'm not really that much um, interested in this Fatal 4-Way card. Of course, there's only about, um, what, like four matches, uh, if I stand corrected. So, um, unless any, uh, you know, uh, changes plan like with the matches and everything uh stuff changes with that um i'm sure there will be uh you know random matches and stuff like that uh thrown into the card uh just so quickly like that of course we got four matches as of right now and that's how it stands so i'm going to go uh run down the list and this looks like it's going to be a pretty quick uh predictions video of course with not many matches on the card but um, you know, I'm still going to go run, run down the list and give you my predictions and my thoughts on who I think who would win uh, with these matches. So let's go and run into it. Uh, the first match I'm going to go with here is for the United States Championship. Of course, this is the only title as of right now that isn't in the Fatal 4 Of course, this one is a singles match between R-Truth and The Miz, who just won uh, the United States Championship. On Raw against our truth in his hometown in Charlotte, and um, you know I don't really get why they put uh, the Miz as the new champion yet again. Uh, I'm not really too sure where they're going with this. Um, you know the last time the Miz has won the championship, he didn't really defend it too much or at all, and was just wearing it. Of course, he had the unified tag team championships as well. So I'm not really liking that. Although I do love the Miz and he's a great wrestler and everything I just don't really uh, like the fact that he's having the United States Championship so um, with that being said um, I am gonna go with R-Truth gaining back the United States Championship just because I think R-Truth uh, I guess well you can say deserves uh, you know a longer shot at the United States title and it's been only a few weeks I believe something like that. Uh, so he hasn't really held it for that long. It just lost it on Monday. So I'm going with R-Truth for the win for the United States Championship. Then we get into uh, the Divas title, which will be on the line. Uh, this involves Maurice versus Gail Kim, uh, Eve Torres, and Alicia Fox. Now, this could be a decent, uh, you know, Divas match. Um, you know, I don't expect, you know, too much out of this. And, um, you know, the only diva I'm looking forward for in this match is Gail Kim. Uh, I would love her to win for the, uh, you know, to her to win the Divas title and everything. Um, but, you know, knowing with that, uh, probably won't happen. So, you know, if I had a pick, um, I'm actually going to go with Maurice because she seems to be getting, uh, well, looking to get back. Uh, the Divas Championship against Maurice, so um, I'm going with Maurice to, uh, you know, become the new Divas Champion at Fatal 4 -way. Also, um, then we get into uh, the world title matches, of course, and uh, starting it off with the world title, uh, Rey Mysterio, Jack Swagger uh, versus The Big Show and CM Punk. Now, I do like basically most of these guys in this match, uh, I don't really see Big Show winning the world title right now, um, even though it would be kind of nice, but I just don't see that happening. Uh, Rey Mysterio, maybe that is a possibility uh, with this whole thing, uh, with the Undertaker storyline. I do see a under not an Undertaker, excuse me, a Kane feud with uh, Rey Mysterio, maybe for the world title, and uh, that would be uh, nice to have, but that's just the way I would see it in my book. Um, I don't know, uh, you know, what you guys see, uh, with that, but that's just the way how I see it. Also, we got Jack Swagger in this match. Of course, he's the world champion. Um, you know, he could hold the title until Money in the Bank and probably lose it there. Um, or even after Money in the Bank, I should say that. Um, also we got CM Punk, uh, another... Uh, guy that I like here, um, maybe he can win the world title yet again. It would be nice for another CM Punk reign as world heavyweight champion. 
So it's kind of hard to predict um, who I want to win this match. Uh, it would be nice to have Jack Swagger retain, and also it would be nice to have Ray win the title, as well as CM Punk. So, you know, with that being said, um, I'm going to go with Jack Swagger retaining the title. Uh, just being the fact, and just to have Jack Swagger continue uh, one more run with the world title and possibly lose it at uh, Money in the Bank or, you know, SummerSlam or something like that. So, um, that's what I see with that. Next match here, we got the Fatal 4-Way match for the WWE title. Edge, Sheamus, John Cena, and Randy Orton. Now, of course, Randy Orton, uh, has that little injury, but it doesn't seem like he doesn't have it. It's not doesn't really hurt him that much anymore. So it looks like it's getting healed. Of course, he's been wrestling a lot lately, uh, especially in the main event involved this past week. And um, you know, Randy Orton, I guess he's healing pretty well. So I guess we're gonna see a lot of stuff with Randy Orton. Um, you know, in this Fatal Four Way match, uh, of course. Uh, Edge, Sheamus, Cena, and Orton are all in this match. So, yet again, it kind of makes it hard uh, to predict. Um, you know, which is good out of the Fatal 4 ways. It makes it more challenging with the predictions. So, um, John Cena retaining is a possibility. Um, Edge with another one with the title would be great too. And Randy Orton winning this uh, will also be... Uh, you know, a good thing. And Seamus, um, you know, I've been talking about this with my uh, good buddy Simon, and um, he thinks that it would be good for uh, Seamus to win this match and go after, uh, to face Triple H and go for the title, I believe. Um, so, I actually kind of agree with them more than I, than I think about it. So, uh, with that being said, um, you know, I think... Um, I'm actually going to go with Sheamus with this one, uh, even though he probably won't win the title, um, even though I don't really like Sheamus too much, but, uh, I think I'm going to go with that, um, you know, with him, he brings up a good point, so I'm going to have to agree with him, uh, now that I think about it a lot more, so I'm going to go with that, Sheamus winning the WWE title, uh, I think it makes sense now that I think about it more, like I said. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go with Seamus for the win on that one. So uh, that's it with the card, guys. Uh, of course, it's this Sunday in Long Island, pretty much in my neck of the woods. Of course, I'm from there. So, um, you know, I'm pretty kind of excited uh, with this pay-per-view. Kind of uh, not so much, uh, in, like, not really uh, looking forward uh, for this pay-per-view, so I'm in between, so I'll probably, uh, try to watch it when I can, and, uh, that has to do with the predictions, guys, and, uh, you know, as always, drop your thoughts down there, down there below in the comment section, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions, and that has to do with the video, guys, and as always, I will talk to you guys later, peace.